Hello everybody, I just wanted to take a few minutes to explain the basics of using Google Sites, um, or at least the new Google Sites, because that's one of the options that you have for sharing the results of your research project or your final assignment in this class. So anyway, um, I want to do this quickly. So uh, I just want to say first of all that if you want to use any other software to create your website, you can. Um, if, you're, if you've done this before and you've used something like, um, well I mean if you've used like you know Dreamweaver or something like that that's absolutely fine but even if you've used like Wix or WordPress or some other um, uh, platform for creating a website pretty simply online then you can feel free to use that um, but I just want to show you that you have access to Google sites through your Maricopa email or your Maricopa um, app uh, Google Apps account so you get into your school email get into your Maricopa email and then right over here there's this little grid thing this brings up all the different apps that you have uh, through the, the Google Google Apps and then you click on sites now this takes you to your sites dashboard now I have to explain very briefly that um, there that there is the old Google sites which has been available for a long time and then there's the new Google sites which is way simpler but that you can't really do as much in terms of like making your site kind of personal and creative okay so if you if you are, you know, if you've designed websites before, or if you, if you're a little bit more tech savvy and you want to be creative and you want to make life a little bit more difficult than it has to be, um, and so if you're like me a little bit, then I recommend that you you go and try out the Google Classic. Um, there are templates that you can use and things like that. But I'm not going to explain all that right now. I'll let you explore that. If you click Create, you can create a new website either using Classic Sites or New Sites. I want to take this video as an opportunity to demonstrate uh, using New Sites and just show you how really easy it is to kind of create a basic website um, using the new Google Sites. So when you, uh, it brings you up with like a basic page um, with a, a site name. Let's say that this is for your you know obviously this is going to be for your project um, and you want to title it something you know and I, I'm not entirely sure what your project is of course but you can say like why you should make this website okay And if you want to change the background here, you can do that. You can change the background image, um, and you can either just pick an image from your Google account. For example, if you're, this is just a bunch of stock photos that they have in there, um, you can also get something from your Google Drive, or you can get something from your own albums. And let's just say that you did find something in your Google Drive, and you're like, oh, hey, you know what? That's going to be a really great background right there. You can just click on it and enter it in there. The other thing you can do is um, you can upload an image. You can click that and it, it prompts you to um, just select an image from your PC or whatever. And so let's say you found one that you wanted, you put that in. And it just populates it right there for you. Now let's say that you wanted to change the header overall, right? You didn't want it to be so big. Well, you can actually make it, um, well actually this one, it's big just because it automatically sizes based on the text, I believe. But if you want to make it even bigger, you could select large banner. Um, and then let's say below that on the home page of your website, you want to add a text box with some explanation of your project and some overview of your project and kind of explaining what the site is about that kind of a thing well you just click text box enter in what you want and just click out of it and it stays right there if at any time you want to see what your website looks like um, f you know from just like a, uh, some, a visitors perspective you can click on the little preview button and it brings it up to you so you can see what it would look like in your browser um, either on a tablet or a phone or on a large screen now, some certain really other things I want to explain. Let's see. Other things you can just simply add in here. You can embed very easily stuff from YouTube, from Google, other Google apps and things like that. It makes it super simple. If there's a YouTube video, you can actually do a YouTube search right here through Google Sites um, and it makes it really easy to embed the videos. Let's say that you wanted to put another picture in there. You click images right there and let's say that you wanted to grab one from your album and they're like oh here's that's the picture that I want to put in here so you select it and insert that now it puts the picture in there you can resize it and move it around very easily by dragging clicking moving if you want it to go up here for example you can put it on the side there maybe you want to make that smaller so that you can put make this one bigger and that's kinda of ugly but whatever and then um, let's say for example that you have a file folder open on your desktop. If you do, you can simply just grab a picture from there and you can drag and drop right into 
your browser and it will upload the image as well. And again, it's all just kind of dragging and dropping, so if you want to move stuff around, it's really simple to do that, and it keeps it all for you. Now, um, you're going to want multiple pages. You don't want to just have a home page. You're going to want to have other pages, too. So you're going to click here, and what you can do under this page, it, it'll basically make a list of the different pages on your website here. I'd recommend, and look at the prompt, because it'll tell you specifically um, kind of like what some organizational standards you want to aim for. But let's just say you're going to have a page about research as well. Um, you can just go ahead and enter that in and it automatically brings you to that new page. Um, you can add a different header or you can go ahead and you know add the same header. It's kind of nice to have some consistency but you might want to uh, mix it up a little bit. But you have a whole other page here that you can then visit. Um, and then if you want to have another one um, that I don't know, like has some evidence or whatever else you want to do to organize your site. You'll notice that every time I add a new page, it updates this kind of running header at the very top here so that you, uh, so that you your uh, reader, whoever visiting your site, can very easily navigate through it. So super easy to do, and you even have themes that you can choose from. And um, if you just choose a different theme, it just kind of totally updates everything for you, um, making it much easier for you to kind of just get a bunch of general sense of, uh, you know, a bunch of different kind of like um, ideas here that you could do. Okay, anyway, I wanted to keep this super simple. If at any point you want to preview it again, uh, you just click on that and then you can kind of see, hey, you know, this is what this is going to look like when somebody goes to my site here and this is what it's going to be. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to share that with you, almost at seven minutes now, so I'm going to shut up. And uh, I look forward to seeing, um, you know, whether you choose to use this or something else, I just wanted to make sure uh, that you knew I look forward to seeing your creativity at the end of this class. Thank you.